people with disabilities, people who are blind especially, are really just people and they have the same desires as anyone else who's not disabled, who is not blind. I always challenge people that when you encounter someone who is blind, to treat them as you would anyone else. Don't let their blindness be a barrier to you seeing them as a whole individual. Well, the history of Braille, um, Braille was actually invented uh, in France by an individual named Louis Braille. He invented this system as a means of communication so that individuals could read with their fingers and uh, increase that communication. It's something that people use on a daily basis. The Lighthouse of Fort Worth has many dimensions and one of those most important dimensions is that of rehabilitation services. Uh, our highly qualified staff of professionals uh, takes great pride in our ability to uh, help an individual uh, who may be visually impaired reach the level of independence that they want to reach. We use a variety of techniques and tools and services to do that. Uh, everything from teaching someone how to use a white cane to uh, learning how to read braille. Lots of people ask, why should I learn how to read Braille? I've got lots of other options available to me, whether it's an MP3 player or books on tape or audio recordings. Uh, the answer is that if, if you're losing your vision or have lost your vision, Braille is the universal uh, avenue for you to be able to continue to read, to continue to, to take in the written word, uh, so that regardless of whether it's, it's convenient for you to have earbuds in your ears or for someone else to, to read to you, uh, Braille gives you the opportunity to read for yourself. There are several steps involved to get the person to the point where they can read Braille fluently. A lot of people think that Braille is a language, and in fact, if, um, several years ago, I had the same uh, misconception, but it's not really a language so much as it is, uh, it's a code system that represents a language. Um, and it could be any language, it doesn't have to be English. We have, you have to consider that there are several uh, steps involved to get the person to the point where they can read Braille fluently. Each person is at a different level when it comes to Braille. We're gonna have to modify a lot oftentimes to, uh, to meet the person where they're at in terms of their, uh, their learning curve, because everybody has the same learning curve. Of course, that's not, not a problem for me. I like working one-on-one -on -one with people and giving them that extra attention that they need to uh, develop you know, the skills that they need to read Braille. Braille is that communication method that allows a person who's blind or significantly visually impaired to read and communicate just like everyone else. When you learn Braille, you kind of have this moment of where you are achieving that literacy that you once had before. And so I think it really does impact your self-esteem and makes you more confident. Being able to see your students experience that moment where um, it's kind of like they, they actually have that light bulb moment where um, they're reading a whole entire sentence and they got that meaning of that sentence. I mean, that's, that's really cool. Um, and then, of course, we have people that want to, now they want stories, they want short stories. And so they're asking for things like that because now they're actually putting it into practice. Those little simple things are the things that kind of, imp that can empower that independence. Studies have shown that individuals with blindness that are Braille users versus individuals with blindness that are not Braille users do better. Um, and by doing better, what I mean is they have higher educational levels, they have higher socioeconomic levels, they have higher paying jobs, and they're more likely to participate in their communities in a positive way. Um, the reason that we feel like it's so important here at the Lighthouse to provide those opportunities to learn Braille is simply that, to empower people to be the best that they can be. Rehabilitation services is that avenue that takes an individual from the recognition of a vision impairment to the realization that they don't have to stop doing the things that they've always done, the things they've always enjoyed. They just have to do them a little bit differently. 